Look at that. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. Temperatures in the triple digits here in Denver. Yeah, no easy way to put it. It's going to be toasty. One way meteorologists determine how dangerous these conditions are, though, is by using a tool called a heat map. Greg Perez out live with more details. Greg, how do these things work? Good morning, Ashley. So essentially what the NWS has been using is an experimental product over the past 10 years, really just for the Western United States, and that's what it's called a heat map. Now, just this year, the National Weather Service expanded it to the entire contiguous United States, and that was just earlier this year, so it's a relatively new product. But as we mentioned, it's an extremely useful tool for meteorologists and for everyday people to know the impacts of heat-related uh, of uh, heat related incidents like what we'll be seeing uh, coming up in just a couple of days from now. Essentially, it's a color numeric based index that provides a forecast of the potential level of risk for heat related impacts to occur over a 24 hour period. Heat risk takes into consideration how unusual the heat is for that time of the year, the duration of the heat in both daytime and nighttime, and if those temperatures pose an elevated risk of heat related impacts. The level of risk is illustrated by a color slash number along with identifying the groups potentially most at risk at that level. So it's based on four levels. Uh, the first uh, level is level one, also in yellow. This is the level of heat, uh, heat that affects groups that are extremely sensitive to very hot temperatures. Orange or level two, which is moderate. This affects most individuals who are sensitive to heat, especially those without adequate hydration or effective cooling. Think those without an AC unit. Red or three, which is major. This affects anyone without effective cooling and impacts some health systems, heat sensitive industries and infrastructure. And last but not least, magenta or four, which is extreme. This is rare with long durations of extreme heat and little to no overnight relief. So if you look at your screen, we have both map of Saturday and on on Sunday. So the maps that we see on Saturday show Denver in a level three. Meanwhile, on Sunday, we're going to be in a level four. So extreme heat is on the way. And that means we really need to be careful going out and about. Of course, Kylie has been talking about it all morning long that we'll be at the triple digits or flirting with the triple digits each and every day starting on Friday. And that continues through Sunday. And even on Monday, temperatures will still be relatively hot. So this is all to say this upcoming weekend, be very careful. And if you need to use uh, one of the heat maps, to uh, to help yourself and uh, see what uh, to help yourself see uh, what uh, type of uh, forecast that we have for this weekend. Of course, you can stay with us here on Fox 31, but also you can check out the National Weather Service website as well for more information. Reporting live at Wash Park, Greg Perez, Fox 31 News. All right, thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. Yeah, interesting tool. That